Hi everyone, welcome to Sean Burgess Fitness and thank you for tuning in to my latest Flexibility Matters video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to passively stretch your adductors, okay, and we're going to be using a very well-known yoga position called the butterfly. Okay, so you've probably seen this before, you might not even know what it was called the butterfly, but I'll show you a couple of like tweaks to the basic position, just to basically help you regress and progress the stretch. So the adductors, just for a little bit of background anatomy, are located at the top of the inside thighs. There's three muscles in the adductor group. You've got your brevis, your magnus, and your longus, okay? You can hit each muscle group slightly with different exercises, but we'll come onto that in separate videos. So for the butterfly position, I want you to just basically make sure that you've got both feet positioned in line with the middle of your body, and we want the feet to also be pushing into each other, okay? So depending on your flexibility, I want you to bring your heels back to your hips as far as you can, okay? So the closer, the better. From there, we've got a few options about what we're gonna do. So if we're just gonna hold the basic butterfly position, you're gonna have your hands just on your ankles and just naturally let your knees sort of drop to the floor. So you maintain a nice upright posture and just hold that position there. So we're not really doing too much in terms of like assisting the stretch, we're just letting the body just naturally kind of stretch and lengthen, okay? So if we wanna increase, this stretch through the adductor group, what we can do is just basically increase our flexion through the spine, which naturally puts more weight, into body weight into the stretch. So from here, what we would do is just take our hands forward and just hold across the toe. You've probably seen people doing this before. So I would just always advise take a little breath in and then on the exhale, just keep the elbows tucked in, just almost in line with the front of your hips and your pelvis and just lean forward, okay? So tuck the chin in slightly, look down and just relax. Just really relax, push your knees down into the ground, really try to open up inside the thighs. And again, you should feel that even more coming through the adductor group here. Okay, so that's one way to progress. The second one is probably the one that I tend to do more of myself, is here, what we're gonna do is just put the hands now on the ankles and we're gonna just widen the arms so the elbows and the shoulders are actually going to push our knees down into the ground so again take a little breath in and then breathe out and then just lean forward at the hips just get more weight going down into the stretch so you've probably seen people doing this as well maybe with like a, like a weightlifting plate on their knees um, some people have used different resistance for that that's fine as long as it's controlled and you build up to that. It's not like a beginner's uh, kind of exercise. So I would always say use your body weight effectively before you start adding any additional resistance. And then once you've held that stretch for 30 seconds, just lift the knees back to the middle. Just take a lot of the tension out of the adductors and then go either into your second set after a small rest or move on to a second exercise. There are of course many variations that you can do with this stretch. You can you know, start to add in child's poses. You can add in different arm movements as well. Um, you can hold you know, different positions. If you need to regress even further, what you can do, just, just slightly assist the stretch more, is just sit on like a, a small block or a towel, which lifts the pelvis and just reduces some of the stress coming through the adductor group. So there's ways around this uh, for everyone to give it a go. And that's it guys. So I hope all of the information there has made sense. As always, if you've got any queries, don't hesitate to get in touch at any time. We always look forward to hearing from you. And thanks again for tuning in. Take care.